Hey, flamethrowers, it's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And I'm a little bit upset right now. You guys are probably wondering, why am I so upset? Well, it's because of a certain event that was going on for the past few weeks. Which was, of course, classic Eggman trying to get me and Sonic to get a second wife or a second lover in there. And of course, we all know for a fact that Sarah, she isn't going for it. In fact, I had a couple close calls. What? What type of close calls, you may ask? Well, I'm going to explain it to you in this quick video. Well, flamethrowers, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Like, to some of the couples that I had had on the channel, um, do, do have, like, shared relationships. Like, for example, Knuckles, he has a shared relationship with Rouge, Julie Sue, Tikal, uh, Shade, and lots of, and, yeah. And then there was the boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. He has a shared relationship with the girlfriend and Sky, and of course I also have Android Twenty One, who's also and of course there's Android Twenty and of course there's no not Android Twenty One. Let's say Android Eighteen with Krillin and of course Krillin's ex girlfriend Marin. So yeah, yes, they all have a shared relationship on my channel. But, sadly, due to a circumstance, it seems that me and Sonic and some of the other Sonic couples are the only ones that can't have, you know, a second. The reason why is because some of our ladies may have certain issues when it comes to a, you know, second in the relationship. Sometimes they feel like they are, you know, being replaced or they just don't feel good enough for their man. It's just that, guys, when it comes to a shared relationship, when it comes to a shared relationship, guys, Sometimes it can go down three different paths. The good path, the bad path, and of course the suicide path. Now, let me explain each path. There's the good path. It's where everybody's getting along nicely. You know, everybody's getting along, no problems, everything is equal, everything's all happy and nice. That's the good path of sometimes of a shared relationship. Then there's the bad path. Where everybody's fighting. Where if someone thinks that they're getting better treatment or everything's not equal. Then it just leads to fights, arguments. Then next thing you know, they, someone, someone might end up doing something that they're going to regret. And then comes drastic measures, or should I say, the suicide path. Yes, we all know that suicide isn't good, guys. We all know that suicide is not good. But anyway, um, for the suicide path... Sometimes there's that one person where, you know, thinks that the shared relationship just shouldn't be. And, well, they just don't like it at all. They really don't like it at all. In fact, they feel rejected. And the more they feel rejected, they get more and more depressed. Then next thing you know, they either end up leaving the man or suicide you know killing themselves to end it all but guys 
we all know for a fact that suicide isn't going to solve problems. It's just going to, you know, create more problems. So, yeah. Anyway, guys... Out of all the Sonic characters and all the uh, women in a relationship, there's one person that's absolutely leaning towards the suicide path. And that would be... Sarah. Like I said earlier, we had a lot of close calls to where I almost lost her. And I don't want that. I don't want to lose my wife. I don't want to lose that. Well, guys, let me tell you a little something that happened. Um, you see, a few months ago, me and Sarah, we did try the sharing relationship thing with Tiara. You know, one of my exes, Tiara the Minx. But, unfortunately, it didn't work out so well. Because... Sarah, she just felt really, really sad. She, it's like she didn't want anything to do with Tiara or anything. She just felt like she was being replaced or I don't love her anymore. So I was bringing Tiara into the mix. You see, guys, the thing is... I only did that because Tiara said that I was the only guy that, you know, ever loved her. And leaving me made her sad. In fact, guys, the whole reason why I started this whole sharing thing was to make people happy. Was to make people happy. You know, give them what they miss or give them what they lost or something. But, sadly... Somebody may be feeling good, but the other one is just feeling a whole lot worse. And in that case, it was Sarah. Like I said, we almost had a few close calls to where I almost lost her. And I get really worried that one of these days I might actually do something that might, you know, have her go, to, go through the suicide path. It just makes me cry a lot. In fact, I'm starting to cry a little bit right now. You guys can't see it, but tears are literally fl flying through my eyes right now. I had to take my glasses off. Sorry, I'm breaking character a little bit, guys. But anyway, I just feel so set upset about this. For those of you guys who do think that, you know, the shared relationship things is working out for some characters, good for you. But when it comes to, but if you guys don't like this whole harem thing, then that's fine too. But I'm just saying, guys, having a harem, or in other words, a second, is sometimes okay. But you guys really need to ask yourselves, if you guys bring a second into the relationship, how do you think that's going to affect the first Will they go down the good path, the bad path, or the suicide path? Believe it or not, guys, most people choose the suicide path a lot. And I bet you guys already know which path Sarah already took, well, is planning on taking. Sometimes, um, sometimes I do try and sit down and talk with her. But she doesn't always want to listen to what I have to say, guys. But I really do love Sarah a lot. I really do. If I didn't, did you think I would have married her? Had Amber with her? I mean, come on, guys. Think about that. I mean, it's not like that I'm saying... I mean, guys, it's not like that I don't love her... I do love her with all my heart. It's just that I want to make people happy. And with and if being with me is going to make somebody happy, then I don't know. I really don't know because I really, really can't go through another day without, you know, Sarah thinking about killing herself to, you know. I mean, guys, to be honest. 
Sarah, if you're watching this, I know you're asleep in the other room, but Sarah, if you're watching this, ask yourself, what does killing yourself solve? I mean, think about it. If I, because think about it, if you kill yourself, not only are you going to make me sad, you're going to make everybody else sad. Your friends, your family, me, and especially Amber, our daughter. I mean, think about it. Well, guys, hopefully, hopefully Sarah does see this video and the circumstances will be solved. Right now, I'm trying to think of a way to, you know, make it up to Sarah. I honestly don't know what I can do, guys, because I literally, I literally feel bad about for what's going on, guys. Even though it was classic Eggman's fault, I still got in trouble. Like I said, I literally almost lost my wife due to Eggman. And I really don't want to lose her. I really don't, guys. Anyway, anyway, guys, hopefully my words got to everybody out there who's thinking about, you know. But anyway, guys, hopefully this circumstances will get fixed or resolved somehow. I don't know, but yeah. And Sarah, if you're watching this, I just want to say I love you and I didn't mean to hurt you or anything. It's just that I get so preoccupied in helping people. And like I said earlier, if being with me help helps people feel better, then I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you guys understand what I'm going through right now. In fact, I feel so bad right now, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow. I really don't. I really don't feel like it. So, yeah, I do apologize if I don't make any videos tomorrow. So, it's just that I'm going through some things right now in and out of character. So, yeah, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog saying, hopefully you guys took my words into consideration right now. So, and for those of the people who are thinking about committing suicide, don't. What's suicide going to solve? Really, just think. What is suicide going to solve? Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Signing out for now. And again, I apologize if I don't make any videos tomorrow. Later, flamethrowers.